In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, as we have started the reading of the Bible, we continue. We just arrived to the chapter 7 of the book of Genesis. This is about the fraud. Let us continue the reading and also the meditation. I don't only read for you, rather I want you to take your time and meditate about what we read. May God bless us, my dear friends. Amo Marie-Louise, Amo Mararungu. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the boat with your whole family. I have found that you are the only one in all the world who does what is right. Take with you seven pairs of each kind of ritually clean animal, but only one pair of each kind of unclean animal. Take also seven pairs of each kind of bed. Do this so that every kind of animal and bed will be kept alive to reproduce again on earth. Seven days from now, I'm going to send rain that will fall for 40 days and nights in order to destroy all the living being that I have made. And Noah did everything that the Lord commanded. Noah was 600 years old when the flood came on the earth. He and his wife and his sons and their wives went into the boat to escape the fraud. A male and a female of every kind of animal and bed, whether ritually clean or unclean, went into the boat with Noah as God had, uh, had, commanded, had commanded. Seven days later, the fraud came when Noah was 600 years old on the seventh day of the second month all the outlets of the vast body of water beneath the earth burst open all the floodgate of the sky were opened and rain fell on the earth for Seven, uh, 40 days and nights. On the same day, Noah and his wife went into the boat with their three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives. With them went every kind of animal, domestic and wild, large and small, and every kind of bird a male and a female of each kind of living being with being uh, sorry a male and a female of each kind of living being went into the boat with Noah as God has commanded 
Then the Lord shut the door behind Noah. The flood continued for forty days, and the water became deep enough for the boat to fro- to float. The water became deeper, and the boat the boat drifted on the surface. It became so deep that it covered the highest mountains. It went on raising until it was about seven meters above the tops of the mountains. Every living being on the earth died. Every bird, every animal, and every person. Everything on earth that breathed, breathed died. The Lord destroyed all living beings on earth, human beings, animals, and the birds. The only one left were Noah and those who were with him in their boat. The water did not start going down for 150 days. Brothers and sisters, God was hungry, angry, angry with this world because of the sin. Only Noah was holy in the eyes of God. That is why he survived. We also will survive if we respect, if we do the will of God. Brothers and sisters, in a few time we continue the reading. Of the fraud. God had not forgotten Noah and all animals with him in the boat. He caused a wind to blow and the water started going down. The outlets of the water beneath the earth and the fraud gate of the sky were closed. The rain stopped and the water gradually went down for 150 days. On the seventh day of the seventh month, the boat came to rest on a mountain in the Ararat Ararat range. The water kept going down, and on the first day of the tenth month of the tops of the mountains, appeared. After 40 days, Noah opened a window and sent out a raven. It it did not come back, but kept flying around until the water was completely gone. Meanwhile, Noah sent out a dove to see if the water had gone down. But since The water still covered all the land. The dove did not find a place to alight. It flew back to the boat, and Noah reached out, uh, reached out and took it in. 
he waited another seven days and sent out the dove again. It returned to him in the evening with a fresh olive leaf in its beak. So no one knew that the water had gone down. Then he waited another seven days and sent out the dove hour once more. This time it did not come back. When Noah was six hundred and one year, years old, on the first day, on the first month, the water was gone. Noah removed the covering of the boat, looked around and saw that the ground was getting dry. By the seventh day of the second month, month the earth was completely dry. God says, said to Noah, Go out of the boat with your wife, your sons, and their wives. Take all the birds and animals out with you, so that they may reproduce and spread over all the earth. So Noah went out of the boat with his wife, his sons, and their wives, all the animals and the birds went out of the boat in groups in their own kind. Noah offers a sacrifice. Noah built an altar to the Lord. He took one of each kind of ritual clean animal and birds and burnt them whole as a sacrifice on the altar. The order of the sacrifice pleased the Lord. And he said to himself, Never again will I put the earth under a curse because of what people do. I know that from the time they are, go, they are young, their thoughts are evil. Never again will I destroy all living beings as I have done this time. As long as the world exists, there will be a time for planting and a time for harvest. There will always be cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night. The Word of God. My brothers and sisters, the reading today we will go, we are going to highlight two things. One is the sin of the world, another is the mercy of God. Hallelujah. The sin which made the world to be punished, and the mercy of God which made the boat to be uh, on the, the the world to be dry and also the boat to find its place. Instead of moving, moving onto the mountain, the boat had had its place. And then God told Noah to, go, to get out of the boat with what was with him. 
And we see now Noah who offers a sacrifice, and that sacrifice pleased the Lord. And then he made a covenant to Noah to him. He has started by himself because of that uh, sacrifice Noah has offered. Means Noah recognized that God is the creator. Noah recognized what God is to him. Means when we recognize what God is to us, when we do the will of God, when we offer him the sacrifices, he will be pleased and he will give us what we need. That is peace. That is life everlasting everlasting brothers and sisters our god is a merciful god when we do the good he will be more than merciful to us that is why i always say whatever happens to uh, happen to us depend on our behaviors good behavior is a reward bad behavior is a punishment when we see the world today, you see that it becomes so worse. But God, because of, of what, uh, of because of the promise He had done, He did. He doesn't punish us. Rather, is always merciful because He knows all the thoughts of the human beings are evil. And He said, never again. I will, uh, will I destroy all living beings as I have done this time. As long as the world exists, there will be a time for planting, a time for harvest. Brothers and sisters, this is the time. For us, we have to recognize what God has done and to thank Him every time. May God bless us, my dear friends, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.